I felt quite nervous sitting downstairs waiting to go up. Because I was just so worried, I'd never, it was new, never done anything like that before. Obviously the nerves start kicking in, and you're thinking the worst of things. It was a, a, quite a sense of relief, actually, when I walked through the door. I just want to let you know that the interview will last 45 minutes today. A lot of them are a little bit worried before they come to the interview. There's absolutely no doubt about that. You know, our, our key thing is that we, we put them at their ease as soon as they walk in the door. I expected it to be worse than it actually was. I thought it would be very formal and very them and me but it wasn't, they made me feel very welcome. Some people appear and they're absolutely petrified because let's face it, chartered membership is a, it's a fairly serious name, it's a very serious acronym. So I think people when they come, they feel this, they feel this pressure and in reality they should just relax. I felt obviously quite nervous at the start as I was waiting, but as soon as I introduced myself, my nerves quickly calmed down. Everyone was just smiling and happy and it was relaxed and there was no tension in the room and no negativity, it was all positive. I would compare it with a good job interview in as much that at, um, the right questions were asked but it was also a level of informality about it. it I would dare say it was, it was a reasonably enjoyable interview as far as interviews go. We all get given different parts of the project to do um, but each week, every, once a week we all get together and talk about issues. The, the interview is the end of a process that people in embark on in order to become chartered members of the Institute and it's a, a mechanism for the Institute to find out about the degrees of professionalism of people who are applying to become chartered members and whether they live up to the expectations of the Institute. We're trying to learn about the candidate, we're trying to find out what makes them tick, what actually they do during their daily activity and we want to know about their professional aspirations as well. The aim as far as I'm concerned is to get the candidates to talk to the assessors about as many and as varied subjects as possible to try and illustrate their breadth of knowledge, experience and professionalism within construction. I was introduced, shook everybody's hand, sat down. Asked me a few questions about who I was and, and where I was, a bit of my background. A great interview is where a candidate is relaxed and can speak about their professional experience with clarity, precision and brevity. So when you're responding at an interview, the best thing to do is to speak clearly to the point. I would like to think that if I was on holiday for a couple of weeks, that these people would be able to run my office in my absence. You value. Okay. Um, so we get in touch with the installation company. Yeah. Tell us there were some questions on uh, some contractual matters and some professional practice uh, questions. They were quite interested in, in a project that I, that I submitted. They asked me honest questions and I answered them as best as I could. I had the option to go away and be informed by it in writing, but I, I wanted to stay. I have never met a candidate yet that wanted to be written to. So they usually withdraw, we deliberate. Leave the room for 10 minutes, they'll discuss it. And then they called me back in and congratulated me on passing. It's important that the assessment interviews are of a regular standard. The moderation process is there to make sure that the interviews are consistent, at a consistent level. Candidates should not be worried. They've worked hard, they've got there to that table, and they should be absolutely confident that they should get it. My advice to prospective candidates would be to be themselves, to put forward their ideas and their views about things. If you've considered it, you've obviously thought that you can do it, so push yourself and do it. Achieving CIAT and my chartership is the proudest moment of my career. You can say, you know, I'm a chartered professional and it's, it's not just somebody with a degree or somebody who can produce architectural designs, you are a professional. For more information and for other films and resources, visit our website.